Okay, so back again, and here, like we were talking about before, we just linked our Schoology to our Google Drive, and now we're going to take a look at our Google Drive, see how everything's organized, see how everything's stacked up, what folders we need to make every single time there's an assignment, where we save those to, and how to eventually submit that when we... Uh, save those to our our folders. So, let's take a look at Google Drive. You should have gotten an email something similar to this where it says please sign into your Gmail account and click this link and when you click this link it will take you to the, the Google Drive folder and says need permission because I'm signed in as uh, my personal account but when you go over here you'll see that now you have access to Google Drive and this is what you'll see. You'll see NHS Technology, the 2014-2015 archive. You're not going to touch that. That's from last year. But the nice thing about Google Drive is if you start working on projects, uh, I'm going to be saving those year after year. But we're going to concern ourselves with 2015-2016 and ta-da, we have our two classes for this semester, Intro to Videography, Documentary Theory and Production. Now, you might be watching this, I might have recorded this, you won't, you won't see it uh, until the future. If you see your course there, you click on your course. We also have here events. Events are things that might be ongoing. So. I have a photographer that does a uh, basketball game. There'll be the folder with the same protocol that we're doing in here. So we, we have all of these, but these are kind of just independent things that are going on outside of class. You come in, you want to shoot a video with your friends, you want to save media to the drive. I got no problem with you put it in here, but you follow the same protocol. And we'll take a look at protocol now. So. I'm going to go to Intro to Videography. Inside of here, you're going to see your class periods, but you're also going to see a folder that's called Standards. Standards are the things that we repeatedly use, graphics and the movie intros or movie outros for our videos. It's things such as logos. You know that if you ever need the NHS Tech logo, you can look right in this folder. The Northampton Public Schools logo, right in that folder. It's always there for you, so you don't have to go to the website, download it. All those standards are in one central location. Do not move those. Video stings, that's the same thing. That little intro twangy thing that I have at the beginning of every video, you'll be expected to put that into your videos at the beginning as well. There should also be some NCTV things that we'll put at the end. I'll show you that too. But you basically bookend your videos with our NHS Tech logo sting. That's this thing right here. We'll have that at the beginning of the videos. And then this was produced using community media, <clears throat> excuse me, by, uh, from NCTV. Again, that's standards. Don't save anything into this folder. In fact, don't save anything into this root folder either. I don't want to see anything saved in these folders. This is how you save to folders. We'll go to class period two. And inside of here, oh, I'll delete that. Inside of here, you'll see assignments. Assignments is basically navigate to this, and when we're working day to day, we're doing things, we're saving things, we'll be in this folder. Inside of here, I've already made one of the things that we're going to be actually using today. So, look at this protocol right here. It's the year, dash, the month with a zero placeholder, that's important, dash, and then if it's like the third to the, the first to the ninth, you're going to do a zero placeholder also. That's not, we still have to do multiple folders. So, this is the folder that we're all using. So, you double click this folder. Inside of here, 
you want to make a folder for your team. You go to new, you go to folder, and say you are assigned the green camera, right? Where green team, then whatever sub team you are. So there might be two or three teams that after you shoot, you come back, do your editing, get it all done. So maybe your green team and there all these there's uh, colors and there's also numbered computers. So look at that. Look for that. It's, it's brand new, but look for it. Green team zero one. You might be green team zero two, depending on what computer you're using. In fact, some of them aren't uh, numbered, but we'll go over that later. Green team zero one create. And now, here's something that you'll do regardless. I want you guys to get into the habit of making these subfolders. This is important. Inside of here, again, there's multiple folders. You might think this is crazy, but it will save you time and effort in the long run. You'll know exactly where everything is and exactly whenever you need to find it. No one screws around with your stuff. It's a great protocol. So, in here, we're going to make five folders. I know, you're probably kicking yourself right now. But, folder one, audio, create. Folder two, video, create. Folder three, media. That can be anything from pictures to, well, not audio, obviously, but uh, I usually use this for pictures, but I don't know, you might have a PDF or something or notes or something that you want to put in there too. Put it in media. You're going to have another one that's called finished videos. Again, this is where I X work. Once we're done editing something, this is where a final video would be. Very fast to find. That video right there, that's for your raw media or raw video. So that's for raw video. Finished videos is for being, you're, you're basically done with it. Now we're going to put it to DVD. We're going to go upload it to YouTube, what have you. Um, I'm blanking on the last one here. New folder oh this one is where we're going to save project files project files are your uh, premiere uh, files so when you're saving the project it actually saves a whole bunch of different notes we'll get into that later when we get into editing but when you start a project in premiere when you start a project in after effects when you start a product uh, project in audition you're going to put your project files in here and there you have it, your five folders. Every single time, even though we're doing, this is just a sample submission, I want you to get into the habit of making these five folders, always. I might, I might take a video and it's, there's no audio, there's no photos that I'm bringing in. Um, I'm, I'm always gonna have finished videos if I'm doing a video, a video and project files, but even if I don't use them, you get into the habit of making those because then you can say there is no audio there is no photos because my folder is empty so here now that we have this done what I want you to do is say practice saving something to the right Google Drive folder so I'm actually going to be sneaky. I'm going to go all the way back up to 2015, 2016. I'm going to navigate through this so you see where we're going. So I have NHS Technologies Flickr page. You should see this. You should, put, you should take pictures too because that's where we put all our pictures. Nice, high quality, high resolution pictures. I want, what I want you guys to do is take one of these pictures, download it. Uh, you can take any picture as long as it's appropriate from the internet for this for the sake of this demonstration doesn't matter but if you want to you can go to flickr.com slash nhs technology I'm gonna take this one of Jody I love this one 
Looks like a wise old prophet. I'm going to take this one and hit download. And I'll download medium sized. The higher resolution, the better. In this case, I'm just doing it for the sake of time. So, I, this automatically saved to the downloads folder. That is one of the biggest problems I see people have. They download something, they're like, oh, it's in the downloads folder. I'm just going to drag it in, start using it. You can't do that. Remember, we always save everything to the Google Drive. So, if I go to my downloads folder, I'll see that my picture... I think this is it. Yeah. My picture's right here. Peter's going mad slow. Sorry. But I don't want my picture to be in downloads, right? What I want is my picture to be in Google Drive. Now, there's a bunch of different ways I can do this. Um, what I want to do is go to NHS Technology. 2015, 2016, intro to videography, class period 02, assignments, sample submission, and green team. That's my team, right? Now, where do I save this? I'm going to pause this, answer the question. Okay, if you guessed media, bingo. And in the for the uh, submission purposes, what I have you do is name things. Name it your first and last name. It's going to be much easier for me to go through and see. I might I might change that, but just name it your first and last name. It's going to be easier for me. Go to new, file upload, and I'm going to go to my downloads and take that picture 